The way that we're going to beat cancer is through research. And National Cancer Institute designated comprehensive cancer centers get funding from the NCI to support the research mission. The NCI cancer centers are distributed between more than 35 states in the United States. We have 69 cancer centers. And those cancer centers, as a group, perform an enormous amount of the cancer research that is conducted in the United States. The development of NCI-designated uh, cancer centers really opened up a line of funding for individuals to pursue um, basic studies of what makes a cancer cell different than a normal cell. Cancer biology would not exist today without it. The NCI support comes in to a state like South Carolina and allows us to have top-notch physicians, top-notch clinical trials, and make sure that we are doing everything we can to prevent cancer. Kentucky has the highest rate of cancer incidence, has the highest cancer mortality of any place in the country. So now having an NCI designated cancer center really gives us that stamp of approval to go forward and, and to really change a culture for, for a population that desperately needs it. One of the things that's great about the NCI center program is that it brings people together that normally wouldn't be working together. Making advances against cancer really requires that multidisciplinary approach, and that's an expectation of the NCI program. We need to understand cancer from multiple vantage points, and that can be done best by having people with different perspectives working and thinking about the same problem. Anybody that comes into this lab or into the Hollings Cancer Center is here because they want to make a difference in a patient's life. NCI's funding for cancer centers provides an environment where scientists and clinicians can get together and talk about ideas. The NCI is first and foremost a research organization. We can't predict where the most important breakthroughs are going to come from. The best thing that we can do is to try to support the best scientists who have the most interesting proposals because we don't know which of those findings is going to lead to key breakthroughs that ultimately would have clinical application. We've received support from the National Cancer Institute to support our cell therapies facility. So this is critical for immunotherapy, and we have one of the few centers in the country that has this really state-of-the-art, cutting-edge technology that we can use to support clinical trials and putting therapies in patients. One program is our whole nanotechnology initiative, and so we have a number of projects now looking at delivering cancer therapeutics to cancer metastases using nanotechnology. There's another program, something we call Faith Moves Mountains. Cervical cancer rates are extremely high in Appalachia. Our investigators go to the area churches where women feel comfortable in talking about cancer prevention, cancer care. That's been great for us because we've seen the rates of cervical cancer go down in this population, and we've seen our screening initiatives go, go way up as well. Everybody's reinvigorated to know that you've moved the needle that vaccination rates for the HPV vaccine have actually gone up as a result of the work that we're doing. So that's where you feel like you're making a difference. Going to an NCI designated cancer center will get you access to the care that will be the standard of care elsewhere tomorrow, but you'll get it today.